When I looked up the word truth in the Strong's Concordance, it gave very little explanation. It reminds me of our God-given rights. I mean, they're self-evident, meaning there's no explanation needed. It also reminds me of how our Father has placed His existence on our hearts. We can decide to ignore it, but it will not change the fact. Truth simply is the truth, and it's void of fiction. It's lacking the need for debate. These days, we're all led to believe that a person seeking truth is some type of conspiracy nut or someone that's anti-science. You know why the world wants to shape that narrative? Because they know they have something to hide. So when someone says to me, what are you, some kind of truther? I say yes, and I wear it like a badge of honor. Because if someone's not looking for truth, then they must want to be lied to. Venu Shalom Alehem. I bring peace unto you in the native Hebrew language of my Lord and Savior Yahshua Mashiach, the one called Jesus Christ. Barah Hashem, blessed be the name, Todo Rabbah Yahweh. I thank God so much. You are now watching the conservative racer. Remember, the race is not over until Christ returns. In John 14, 6, Jesus said, He was the truth. And in John 1, 14, He then said, He was full of grace and truth. And in Revelation 21, 5, Christ said, His word is trustworthy and true. So Jesus was truth, full of truth, and spoke only truth. One might call Him the first ever truther, but my favorite verse was while talking to Pontius Pilate in John 18, 37, Jesus said, He comes bearing witness to the truth and that everyone who is of truth will hear his voice. This is powerful testimony to truth. I can't imagine how anyone would want anything less. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, touch the heart of everyone listening that they would never settle for anything less other than the whole truth and instill in us a greater desire to want to know all that you require. And Father, this knowledge comes with a burden sometimes. So I also ask if you would grace us with your perfect peace, that we may be well grounded in the face of many coming days, which by our eyesight may sometimes seem uncertain. But in Christ Jesus, we pray you give us strength. Amen. In the truther community, I've noticed that there's basically three types of truthers. Those that lean heavy on the Bible and generally need the Bible to verify the topic of discussion. Then those that lean partially on the Bible and tend to seek much through worldly means to verify their topic. Then there's those that don't lean on the Bible at all and generally seek all worldly means to verify their topics, usually with questionable sources. While those people often have much truth, 
They're also very misleading for believers in Christ and should be avoided. David Icke is an example of such people. Most of my life I fit into the middle category, but I'm moving into the first category as I begin to lean not only heavy on the Bible, but almost exclusively. Part of the reason for this is I see now that everything going on in the world today can be explained in scripture. And without getting too complicated, this is not to say that the physical book is the only source of God's word. Because for believers, our Father places his will and word on us through the Holy Spirit and by Christ Jesus who is the word made flesh. I always try to remind people, a time may come when there are no books, when we have no access to the Bible, but we will still get God's word. The Spirit of God is within us. So let's look at truth in the Bible and then break down some definitions. One of the strongest truths for believers is found in John 14:6. It reads, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In this verse, we learn that the lie told by the world that there's many ways to get to God is false. Our Messiah just explained the facts on this topic and any other explanation will bear no truth. I looked up many verses about truth, wanting to talk about one that's not as common, but the fact is this next very common verse is just too powerful not to mention. In John 8.32, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Now one reason this verse is so powerful to me is because we learned that in the world around us, Without the gospel of Christ, people will live in bondage to the lies of the enemy. And our Savior who said he's the truth knows that by him is our only way to become free of Satan's bondage. The Webster's defines truth as the body of real things, events, and facts, actual. And I like this one, a transcendental, fundamental, or spiritual reality. In the Strong's it says, truth is defined as truth, but it also explains more in the usage. And it says, truth, but not merely truth as spoken, truth of idea, reality, sincerity, truth in the moral sphere, divine truth revealed to man, straightforwardness. One of my absolute favorite verses on truth is found in Proverbs, 25 2. It reads, It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. And this verse we find that our Father not only expects us to want truth, but in seeking it, we actually give Him glory by wanting to know truth. So never stop your search. But I tell you this everything we need is found in the Word of God. Please join me for my next video, The Truth About Earth's Creation. And in the meantime, if you haven't watched my video, Genesis, The Second Day, please enjoy that while I work on the new Bible study. It's been a hard video because I have to make most of the animations myself. There's not too much out there that can visually depict what it is I'm trying to show you from the Word of God this next video.